the single most important invention of the last hundred years was the invention of management. And that sounds maybe a little bit weird. We don't usually think about management as an invention, but if you think about the tools, the methods that we use to bring people together, to mobilize and organize resources for productive ends, that was an invention. And yet I'm going to argue that we're going to have to now reinvent management. The way we lead, we plan, we organize, we hire, we motivate. All of those things we're going to have to reinvent because today organizations are facing a set of challenges that are truly unprecedented. In fact, let me give you just a little bit of history here. Go back with me for a moment to 1890, about 120 years ago. And if you had been living in America, Germany, Britain, and what we called the developed world at the time, in 1890, you would have found that about 90% of people were still in agriculture. The average manufacturing company would have had less than four employees. So it's very fragmented, very small organizations. That was the world circa 1890. And over the next uh, literally one generation, all of that would change. By 1915, 25 years later, Ford Motor Company is making more than a half million automobiles a year. U.S. Steel has become the first company in the world that has a billion dollar market capitalization. And in that tiny sliver of time, in one generation, almost all the tools of modern management get invented. Pay for performance, capital budgeting, task design, divisionalization, brand management, all the management tools and methods that you find yet today in organizations around the world, virtually all of those were invented before 1920. That's what we can call management 1.0. What problem are those people trying to solve? I can tell you, it wasn't, it wasn't a problem of being adaptable and innovative and an inspiring place to work. The problem they were trying to solve is how do you turn human beings into semi-programmable robots? How do we take the farm hands and the housemaids and the craftspeople, get them to show up on time, to tend to that machine, to do the same thing over and over again? This DNA in our organization, that's the goal it was supposed to serve. 